which of the following trc is equal to 4 ohm x 4 ohm t so this is a, this is actually not a trc question this is first order logic question yes or no this is actually a first order logic question if you notice this is just a first order logic question this is not a trc question what this question is saying this is saying that 4 ohm t belonging to r where pt that is you already know this you already know this that this you already know that negation of there exist x px that is same as 4 ohm x negation of px similarly negation of 4 ohm x px that is same as there exist x negation px so this is a very simple question so here the answer will be what so negation there, there does not exist this so the answer will be option 3 definitely okay uh, option 1 will not be the answer option 2 will not be the answer see here we are saying that for all t belonging to r for all tuples belonging to r this condition must be satisfied for all t belonging to r this condition must be satisfied okay this says that every row every row of r satisfies p satisfies p okay and what this is saying this is saying there is no row of r which does not satisfy p no row of r which does not satisfy p which does not satisfy p does not satisfy p so these are same right yes or no so these are basically same they are basically same they are definitely same there is no row which does not satisfy p which does not satisfy p there is no such row okay so i can say every row will satisfy p so these are definitely same what about the next what about this one what this is saying this is saying that there exists a row which is not in r there exists a row which is not in r so actually this does not say anything this is wrong yes or no see are you getting my point this is saying that there is a row which is not in r which does not satisfy p okay there is a row a row not in r a row not in r does not satisfy p does not satisfy p does not satisfy p a row not in r a row not in r does not satisfy p see this does not tell you anything yes or no are this does not tell you anything whether this does not tell you anything whether rows of Uh, r r satisfying so this does not tell us this does not tell us anything this does not tell us anything this does not remember this does not tell us anything okay whether whether rows of r satisfy p or not yes or no satisfy p or not agree or not so this does not tell you anything so here the answer will be so this will not be the answer so finally answer will be third only okay your answer will be option c is this clear to everyone please tell me did you get it please tell me did you get it and what option a is saying what option a is saying what this option a is saying this is saying that no row of r satisfies p satisfies p and what this is saying this is saying every row of r satisfies p so finally your answer will be what your answer will be option only this so this is a interesting question why because many students will uh, will say that 3 comma 4th are correct okay so this is a interesting question yes or no many students they will blindly they will say that okay fourth is correct because there are two negations okay so because there are two negations so like this is this clear to everyone please tell me this question is it clear remember the question is asking this remember the question is asking this that every row of r must satisfy p every row must satisfy p okay so there is no row which does not satisfy p so here answer will be option 3 only